All right, so today we're gonna to be adjusting the camber and tow on the front end of the FRS. Uh, I just finished up this side. It came out pretty decent. There's still a little bit of camber. You can see it's like a very minor bit right there. This side on the other hand is pretty, pretty wild. We gotta fix that. So let's go ahead and take off the wheel. Let me try to pop this up somewhere. Let's take off this wheel. I'm probably gonna time lapse this. So now the wheel is off and what we have to do now to adjust camber is uh, take off that back nut right there. That's only a, that's a 17 and then adjust that caster right there just inwards a bit. Might need to adjust the toe a little more. I did that the day I installed it, which wasn't that bad, but we're going to figure that out because like once we adjust camber, toe is always an issue. So let's go ahead and... Uh, undo that 17 back there we we'll just prop this somewhere in here hopefully I don't hit the camera all right <sighs> enough room We're gonna loosen up this uh this nut right here but this yeah we're gonna loosen this up that way we have an easy spin here so let's go and do that I got my adjustable wrench is that the size yeah mm. I'm kind of dumb and I always forget what should we spin? I know righty's tidy, lefty's loosey, so let's go. Oh shit, move the camera. It's uh Alright, let me adjust the camera now. Right there. Ow. Alright. We got it. Spin that back, pop this out, put that back on so we don't lose it. All right, cool. And now we pull this out. Uh, how'd I do the other side? Let's put it out a bit, right?
Ah, there we go. So I, I'm just gonna guesstimate and turn this a couple times and put it back in and see how it looks. So I'm guessing right there. Let's push it back in. Uh, grab that nut again. Before I leave it. Or the screw bolts, everything, whatever you want to call it. That's the problem with me. I learned most of the stuff in Spanish from my dad. So me trying to like say tool names or like nuts and bolts, I always forget like what what is what. For the same thing that I learned everything in Spanish first, and now I'm trying to translate over to English. You know, Spanish is my first language type shit. Uh, this most like it's gonna be a, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Ah. If I can do a voiceover, it's probably windy as hell in this video. I don't know. So, all right, nuts somewhat in there. Go and smack it in a couple times. It's in there. All right. All right, so the wind has calmed down a bit. So what I did was I uh, popped out that right there, just pulled it out a bit, adjusted it, spun it a couple times to just guesstimate about where I wanted it. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This car is getting a full professional alignment, just not right now. Uh, so I'm gonna throw the wheel back on and eyeball it, see where the camera's at. I know it's pretty much already straight because I did adjust the toe, unless the toe got messed up just now, which most likely it did. We will need to adjust the toe because that's what I did on the other side. So for now, I'm going to throw on this wheel again and we're going to eyeball it. <laughs> so, you know, this is not professional at all. Do not take my word for anything I do. Uh, I just make it work, I guess, right? Put it right there. All right, cool. Throw this wheel back on. So now that the wheel is on, I see that I do need to adjust my toe because this was at four fingers. Now it's barely four. So that needs to be pushed out a bit more. So it's even. Let's take a look at the camber now. All right, camber still needs to be pulled in more. Just by a little bit. Yeah, but this side. Uh, this side. And it's seated in there, so it's okay. Yeah, I think camber needs to be put it, pushed out a little more. We'll put, pull it in, get some a little bit, and adjust that toe. So let's go ahead and do that. Take the wheel back off. And now we have to go back in here. Remove that bolt. Luckily, I didn't tighten it down at all. I just hand screwed it on. So let's go ahead and remove that. Let me move this camera again. All right. Hopefully, I'm not blocking the view with my hands. out uh, I gotta pull this out Loosen that up a bit. Screw it in a little more. A little more. 
a little more, a little less. About right there. That's in again. Oh, oh, move the camera. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So now let's put this. Sorry, I'm probably blocking the camera on my arm right now. All right, so I'll just come back to this in a minute. All right, so I'm back. So we got the camber out, we got the toe kind of straight. Still has a little bit of camber, not really complaining because now the car drives straight, no issues at all. Uh, just a little bit of rubbing on this side. Like I said, I eyeballed this. I need to take it to the professionals, get them to do everything correctly and get it properly straight in the line. But it drives straight, no more, no more uh, squealing on the wheels. I remember when I brought, it, brought this back home from my homie shop. Uh, this side was completely out of bunk. It was bunk, man. Uh, whenever I was driving, this side was squealing really badly on the pavement. This side had a lot of camber and not a lot of toe. This side just had a whole lot of toe and some camber. But now it's pretty straight. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Yeah. It's good enough for me. As long as I can drive this downtown to the shop, get this properly aligned here soon, that's all I really care about. Overall, not too bad. A little difficult of an install because there isn't any videos on how to do this online. And uh, I try to show the most I can. Like I said, I'm only one person with the camera. So yeah, so now uh, I'm just gonna go, ho go ahead and over and uh, give this a quick wash because we will be going to a meet later i will try to vlog some there so yeah uh catch you guys later